Welcome, I'm Dr. Janine Baring, naturopathic doctor, and today I'm talking about iodine deficiency and some of the best food sources of iodine. So let's first talk about the RDA for iodine, so what is recommended on a daily basis. So for babies between birth and six months of age, it is 110 micrograms. Between seven and 12 months, the RDA is 130 micrograms, so we think about the developing central nervous system and the spinal cord really important and that's why we see these higher numbers in infancy for that requirement for iodine. Now from years 1 to 8 it's 90 micrograms per day. From age 9 to 13 the RDA is 120 micrograms and from age 14 plus it's 150 micrograms per day so into adulthood as well. Now in pregnancy there again is a high need for that iodine. So whether it's in pregnancy itself, 220 micrograms per day, and in breastfeeding lactation, 290 micrograms. So both mom and baby need that higher amount in lactation. So what are some of the best food sources of iodine? Well, certainly anything from the sea. So when we're talking about seafood and fish, these are great sources for your natural iodine, but also they contain things like zinc and DHA, which helps with that, you know, functioning of our cellular electrical impulses in the mitochondria which is so important so when we take a look at tuna as well as cod so three ounces of cod for instance will give you 99 micrograms of iodine also shrimp is a good source at three ounces will give 35 micrograms of iodine per day also seaweed so just one gram of seaweed has a huge range and this depends on where the seaweed is growing so Japan tends to have the highest amount of iodine in the seaweed so this can range from anywhere from 16 micrograms way up to 3,000 micrograms per one gram of seaweed so a great source for vegetarians also dairy products do contain some iodine so for instance one cup of milk will give 56 micrograms of iodine and iodized salt probably the easiest way to get in some iodine is an iodized salt. Now different salts have different and varying amounts of iodine. So if the iodine has been added back in, this is a you know sure way to get that iodine. A quarter teaspoon of iodized salt is 71 micrograms of iodine. Now there is controversy as to can you actually get enough iodine from the diet? And in this study, we can see that you know the authors were questioning is there an ideal diet to protect against iodine deficiency and what they went on to say was that the high consumption of processed food of course is going to put you at risk that's my own aside uh, with a high content of unidized salt and alternative diets or limited salt intake can still lead to an iodine deficiency they also said that it appears that there is no diet which could fully cover the iodine requirements and iodine food supplementation is still required so whether that's iodine added back into table salt or a sea salt or making sure that you're getting enough from you know other supplements and there's different ways to go with supplements so most of the supplements on the market for iodine are either a potassium iodide or a sodium iodide and again not always the most natural source I prefer to go with something that is derived from a whole food source as you know if you've seen my videos before I'm all about whole food supplementation and kelp is one of the greatest sources of that whole food iodine now you do have to be a little bit careful if you are supplementing with iodine you, because by taking too much you can actually run into thyroid disorders. By not having enough you can run into thyroid disorders as well. So finding that right amount and usually from that kelp source if it's standardized you're getting the right amount of iodine. So that's definitely something to look for especially when you're wanting to support your thyroid health. We will share a link in the description below to a great product that can help you in terms of supporting the thyroid and 
in with that natural whole food source of that kelp. Now, in terms of overdoing it, the upper limit that the NIH suggests is 1100 micrograms of iodine per day for adults. So making sure that you're staying within those limits is really important. So I hope you've got some questions or comments. Please put them in the question and comment section below and also share this video with someone who you know needs to get this information about iodine and of course for thyroid health as well. Please give me a big thumbs up. I truly appreciate all of that great feedback that you share with me. And if you're new to my channel, welcome in. I hope that you'll subscribe and also turn on those post notifications by clicking that bell so you always get my newest and latest uploads, which happens every single day of the week. And remember to always take good care of your health and do it naturally. Thanks for watching today. Thank you.